Your voice, your vote, 2024. We are just one day away until we are two weeks away from Election Day. Democrat Barbara Pfeiffer and Republican Denny Hoskins are looking to secure the spot of Secretary of State. ABC 17's Gabrielle Tyner spoke with both candidates ahead of the November election about initiative petitions, voting, and business here in Missouri. Republican State Senator Denny Hoskins and Democratic House Representative Barbara Pfeiffer will face off in the race for Missouri Secretary of State. Hoskins has served as senator representing District 21 since 2016. He says some of his top focuses are election integrity and security and standing against the woke agenda. Pfeiffer has served as House Representative for District 90, St. Louis County, since 2020. She says some of her main focuses are free and fair elections for eligible voters, maintaining business in the state, and supporting public libraries. Back in September, the Secretary of State came under fire for how Amendment 3 got on the ballot. One issue being the initiative petitions process. Pfeiffer says she would have handled it much differently. The current state, uh, Secretary of State, did not give accurate information, either in the proposed language for the petition itself, and then later on, uh, what he proposed to put in um, each precinct for voting in November and also on the state website. And both times, people had to go to court, and we actually had judges write the, the ballot language. Hoskins says Amendment 3 has multiple people involved, which some Missourians may not have been aware of. When they gathered those signatures, I think a lot of people didn't know that it would be so extreme. If it passes, you could not sue the doctor for malpractice. So there's a lot of, of issues with Amendment 3, and I think it's just very extreme. If elected, Hoskins says he wants to implement a robust audit of voter rolls for secure election results. I want to make sure that only eligible voters vote here in the state of Missouri, and I'm committed to do that. I believe the most secure elections are in person on Election Day with a photo ID and a paper ballot. Pfeiffer agrees, but thinks absentee voting is also a good thing for Missourians. Voting is something we need to encourage. It needs to be safe and secure, but we need to make every eligible voter uh, have the opportunity to vote. Both candidates were also asked if they think Missouri is a good place to start and operate a business. I think Missouri is a great place to start a small business, most certainly. Pfeiffer disagreed. In uh, the larger picture, uh, Missouri is not really a very good state to start a business because uh, of our health insurance issues, our education issues, um, maternal health issues. There's a whole list of things that make us not very attractive for people to come from out of state to Missouri to start businesses. Both candidates say if elected, they want to upgrade the state's website to make it easier for Missourians to start a business. Gabrielle asked both candidates why they wanted to run for Secretary of State. Pfeiffer says this is the only state job she would run for because it's all about democracy and says she is concerned about how politicized the office has become. Hoskins says he chose to run to make sure elections are safe and secure so Missourians can trust the election process.